Everyone, hi. Once again, Bruce Muffson, LCSW from Sunridge of Nevada, coming at you with more downloads. We are going to finish tonight the last four songs of Mac Miller's final and unfortunately last album, and we're going to go forward one by one, and here we start. First song I want to talk about is the song called Dunno, and I want to just clarify this real quick. Sometimes a song is just a song. It's a love song. It talks about his relationship with Ariana Grande, and he reminisces about times he was carefree with her whenever she was around, and he mentions some experiences that some experiences that they had together. He's very expressive and direct in this particular song, unlike some of the cryptic lines in the previous parts of the album. I get it. He was in love. It makes total sense. Why hide your feelings? I want to talk tonight about in this particular song about relationships. Being in love is a tremendous, tremendous feeling. Enjoy it, savor it, inhale it. Don't be afraid to share your emotions and be open and honest. He was clearly not depressed when he wrote this song, and I'm sure just from the language that he felt happy and free. Good for him. True love is when you feel that you're walking on air. Okay, for those watching, and thank you for those of you that are watching, <laughs> How do you increase your odds to finding that true love? Okay, like yourself for who you are. You want to be flexible, but when you change your essence, you become resentful and angry, not good. So if you're told you got to lose weight, you got to put on weight, you got to wear makeup, not wear makeup, you got to wear this, dress this way, go to this school, don't talk to this friend, cut this person out of your life, leave your family, touch your family, ignore your family, not good. It's not going to work. You got to be who you are and be happy with who you are. And the person that you fall in love with has to accept you for who you are. I've been married, like I said in the past, I think 73 years now. As a joke, 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 dog years. But at the same time, what I've learned is you have to be willing. When I got married, there were things I had to do to make my wife happy and certain things that she did to make me happy. you got to work, understand that concept, but don't change who you are. You like wearing blue jeans on Sunday? Wear blue jeans on Sunday. You like to watch NFL? Watch NFL. Things like that. Okay, be open to being supportive and helpful. Help out with chores, and when you have kids, you got to be hands-on with them. That makes a huge difference. I did not grow up in a house with a lot of diaper changing. I had an older sister, and believe me, I wasn't changing her diaper. So when I got married, I was not a diaper expert. You know what? You learn. I'm sure the first 10, 15 I did were dreadful, but after doing a couple of thousand of them on the kids that I had, it worked out just fine. You get to be a pro. Do things you're not accustomed to doing and expand yourself, grow. The greatness in a relationship is when people can grow with each other and enrich each other's lives. That's when it gets good. For example, going back to the NFL, where if your husband likes to watch sports or your life likes to, li wife likes to watch sports, be supportive. Get a jersey. You know, Make him food. Make her food. Make it dishes. Having friends over. This is what makes life more enjoyable and brings people closer together. Okay, another point is this. Communicate, communicate, communicate. The more you do that, the better the relationship will be. From doing couples therapy, which is what I hate the most doing, because I've always learned, it's like he said, she said, and the truth. I've learned the couples that don't communicate are the ones that are going to have problems in their marriage. Let the other person know what's going on. Sometimes I heard, well, he didn't say anything to me. Well, she didn't share that with me. I didn't know that. I learned that out the hard way. I found that out, you know, from her best friend. Don't do that. If you love the person, share with them what's going on. And hello, even if your wife or your husband's day is not that interesting, which a lot of times it's not going to be, pretend, pretend, pretend. Show some interest. Be an active listener. Okay. Word of advice. For those of you that think that you're in love, and I'm sure we all go through that moment where we all think that way, all right, here's what I want you to do. You're going to be invited to the house to meet the family, whether it's the boy going or the girl going, or girl, girl, boy, boy, who cares? Go to the house, i.e., for Thanksgiving, 
and I want you to meet the entire family. Don't say I don't have a dress to wear, where I'm intimidated, where I'm insecure, where I'm a vegan. You go. You got to get a GoPro. Okay, I'm wearing glasses, but GoPro makes these little cameras now. And here's why I want you to go with a GoPro. Watch how people interact around the table when it comes to food and when it comes to holidays. That will give you a massive insight in what you're getting involved with. For instance, if Aunt Susan is talking to the turkey, okay, that's a problem. But get good footage of that. Okay, see who's drinking a second bottle of wine before the mashed potatoes come around or pouring their wine into their mashed potatoes and having a two-for-one. That's a problem. If you hear this and you say, what's going on? And the father looks at you and says, <laughs> that's Uncle Ned. We lock him upstairs. I think he's hungry. Time for him to get his meal. And you ask innocently, well, why doesn't Uncle Ned come downstairs to join us? And he looks at you and says, that's a long story. <laughs> you got an idea. Now, next. At a certain point, I want you to drink a lot of water, a lot of soda, a lot of juice, whatever. It's not important. Say you got to go to the bathroom. Okay. Get lost on the way to the guest bathroom. I want you to go to the parents' bathroom. Open up the medicine cabinet, and that's what the GoPro is for. And you look at the medicine cabinet, and you see who's taking what. You may not know for sure the dosage or the type of medication, but I want you to go click, 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 click. You can identify the medications later, but get those pictures early. Then, very quickly, go to the parent's bedroom. Open up the nightstand. Open up those drawers. Click, 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 click. See what they take, okay? Then, get lost. Say, oh, I, I went in the wrong bathroom. I got confused. Come back to the table. Now you have your intel, and you get it broken down later in what you're getting involved with and who's taking what. Okay, now, why am I saying this? You don't want to dive into a polluted gene pool because that's what you're going to be marrying into if you see bizarre behavior. Now, there's been allegations. I'm a little bit sarcastic. Uh, I am here as well, okay? But my point is I want you to be careful, you know, in what you're marrying, who you're getting involved with. But at the same time, I want you to leap into that pool, okay? Go for it. It's wonderful to have a partner that cares about you, that worries about you, that fusses over you. It adds to your life. It, adds to, it helps tremendously with depression issues and will give you a lot more fulfillment in what you do on a daily basis. So go for it, go for it, go for it. Take the tips I offered. Go to this family. You don't necessarily need a GoPro, but you want to get some information on what you're dealing with and just decide, is this the family you really want to marry into or can you put up with it? Mac did a great job with this song. He truly loved her. It was a great relationship while it lasted. Everyone else should have the same kind of feeling in their hearts. And just go forward and learn to be happy. All the best. Thanks.